My name is Kagan Schoenberg, founder and CEO of Souls. We're a 3D printing company building the future of mass customized footwear. Souls is based out of New York. We are over 60 people now. By the end of the year, I think that we'll probably be up around 100. We've raised $20 million to date, and we are growing uh, We are growing very, very quickly. Souls are made from Nylon 11. It's a 3D printed plastic polymer. Um, it's flexible, it's elastic. It's designed to be custom underneath the person's weight. So each and every pair of soles is not only unique to the person's individual, like foot morphology, but also responsive, um, so that it's not gonna just collapse or be too rigid under their foot. They are then finished with an antimicrobial coating and they get you know various foams and leathers to like make them really plush and comfortable. So how Souls works is super simple. Um, people will go to our website, they'll get connected to a provider. We have, I think, over 600 now across the US that use our software. That provider, they take three photos of the, the person's right foot and the person's left foot in a weight-bearing position and a non-weight-bearing position. They were extracting a bunch of information from those photos. Um, we're using computer vision and we're using machine learning. We're plugging that information into a statistical model using data. And then we're creating basically an STL file, which goes down to our factory in Texas and creates a pair of custom fit soles. But the benefits of 3D Printing, um, obviously the customization, um, the, the lack of inventory, everything's being created on a one-off basis. Um, but the real benefit and where 3D printing gets very interesting is your ability to create unique structures and actually use the technology and use the manufacturing process to create a superior product. And for me, like those things go hand in hand. So like if you're gonna use a technology, like you should be able to like create a better product with that technology. Um, and for us, what that means right now is we've designed and, and engineered this really interesting heel cup area where we have a responsive two-layer um, flex zone under the heel of the soul um, and we've actually worked with biomechanics labs testing that and we understand that we get an energy return of that of 70% from that structure um, and that structure is unique and generated for every individual person um, and their associated weight which means when you're stepping on it versus me versus anybody else um, it's mimicking and it's responding and it's working with you um, to actually make the process easier to make it easier to walk or to run and sort of like move you more fluidly throughout the day um, these are things you can't do with other manufacturing techniques we could take that same technology and we could very easily scale it to other product categories and you know what that means the question is really you know you you look at yourself and you say, okay, well, what needs to be customized and where is value really being added there? And I think when you look at things like helmets um, and braces and casts and wrist guards um, and shin guards and uh, and any, any of these products where it's about us customizing ourselves, um, this is areas where on-demand technology and 3D printing, like it, it's inevitable, like it will go. I think where customization gets interesting is where you can start to apply it to mass consumer products um, and you can start to say, okay, how can we make things customized but not on a one off way, um, but really like give everybody the power of customization um, and make it in everybody's home and put it on everybody's device and make it affordable and make it accessible and, and provide access. And that's kind of the point of technology, right? Like using technology um, to make things that were not possible, possible. And, uh, and if we can do that with 3D printing and we can do that with souls, and I think that's the beginning of sort of a new kind of product development that hopefully will inform, you know, the industrial designers of the next couple of decades.